11 years old. So, so, so 10. Okay, so that's 15 years ago. So I've known Justin 15 years. That's over half my life. My first impressions of Justin. Very shy, very timid, and he had lovely, curly, short, blonde hair. <laughs> I found out his surname, Klekot, I thought, wow, you know, I've got a Polish friend. <laughs> oh. I found out his middle name, Harvey, that was it. <laughs> That's what he was known as, was Harvey. Harvey Klekot. Brilliant name. But anyway, me and Justin, one thing we always share with them, so we've always had in common, is football. Uh, we played the same team together. I'm sure Justin has probably told all of you here he had trials for shoes for ten. <laughs> well, the school of excellence, actually. Yeah. School of excellence. <laughs> actually, he is better than Joe Hart in golf. <laughs> if you don't know Joe Hart, he's probably soon to be England's number one golfer. He's rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Terrible. <laughs> but no, Justin is a good footballer. You know, he's, uh, I think him and Tim have got a rigged, actually, about the man of the matches for the most <laughs> Pretty controversial. Uh, but yeah, we, we've done quite a lot of stuff together. We were in a band uh, called Clarence. Uh, we did such amazing songs. <laughs> we Unbelievable. We did cows. I'm not going to do it with a lot of them now. But basically, oh, when, so when cows were asleep, we ran up to them, push them over. Uh, we did several gigs, I think, was it London Village Hall? Oh, the big one. We had, I, think, I think I still owe £100 to London Village Hall. <laughs> set off a fire hose. Like, spread all of our I blame Justin. Uh, we played up at Snail Beach. Uh, where else did we play? Rockford. Rockford. Worthen. Worthen. We did loads. <laughs> <laughs> Because he actually kicked me out of the band. Oh. It still hurts now. I'm not sure. Whether because I turned up, I was drunk. Or what? I don't know. I was late. Who knows? But yeah, we had, we had good times in secondary school. Our, our second phase of our, our relationship was uh, sixth form. And I didn't really see Justin much at sixth form. Um, I had a girlfriend at the time. So I was off spending my time with her. Justin, he'd get the get the bus in, he'd go straight to Vicky Wines, get a bottle of wine, a bottle of cider, or vodka. I think he'd, uh, no vodka. No vodka. Eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, he'd like to sit in the quarry, I'd sit in spiral steps and just get absolutely drunk. I'm not joking. <laughs> Always <laughs> good, good times. Um, also, when we were in college, uh, we did, did quite a bit of clubbing together. Justin, we go off to uh, Sunday yeah. Central in Birmingham. Uh, hard, no, it's not hard, of course. Uh, hard <laughs> but at the same time, uh, uh, it Justin up. had a shop. Well, he worked in a shop, it was an antique shop in Shrewsbury. And obviously, Justin would stay up all night till about 6 a.m., get the first train back, go straight to work, and I used to make a point of it. Going in and seeing Justin first thing in the morning, and he'd just be standing there absolutely gormless <laughs> in the shop window, half asleep, completely over he's hung over to the mat. But he did tell me, uh, he used to get to the shop, he'd go out the back, empty, up all, empty out all the slippers, put them on the floor, and have a little bed. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was brilliant. But <laughs> um, after college, we kind of went our own ways, we didn't really see each other too much. Justin was at university in Nottingham. I was at university in Liverpool. Some of Justin's friends are, are here now. I've heard many a story. One <laughs> uh, I'd like to show you, I wasn't there, but it, it, it made me chuckle. I thought, perfect, that'd be perfect. Um, I think he had quite a bad time actually during the day. I think his housemates were being a little bit leery, ripping it out of him a bit. Uh, he went out on the source, got a bit drunk. Um, I'm not too sure what happened, but anyway, Justin stormed off. Massive, massive drop. Went back to the house, tipped up the bed, flipped it over, and that's how he got his nickname, Flipper. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously he's met Hannah now, and you know, Hannah, Justin, you know, I wish you all the best. I sincerely do. Justin, you're a lovely chap. Hannah, you're amazing as well. So. I hope. I've got a lovely issue, you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, 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 get more, you'll get more love later. <laughs> Should I flip it? Yeah, you know, seriously, I'm, I'm here for you. If you ever need to be there, just come and find me. This is the time of the speech, I'm going to round it off now. It's a bit of advice for you two guys. 
It's grounded in empirical scientific research. <laughs> 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 This is, this is mainly for these two guys over here, but also for the rest of the room as well. Uh, one simple thing you have to do. Each night before you go to bed, uh, just say three things that you're grateful for, for, for each other for doing it. So an example, I was grateful for Justin cooking me dinner tonight. You can either say them to each other or you can write them down. If you say those three things, uh, six months time, proven to have increased physical health, and furthermore, it's sustained in the long term. So, it's my gift for you. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 I, I completely forgot that. Alice, Alice, favourite absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.